Good morning, Adam. How are you? Good, really good. How, how is it being in Miami Beach? It is so good. Um, I, this is a vacation that I needed for a while. I feel great. Yeah. Um, everybody's so excited down here. Oh, yeah. You know? You know why, though, right? Well, they're proud. They're and, very, very proud. and they're excited because... I think we're all excited, yeah. yeah. So it would be nice to do a little show down here. Wonderful. Really nice. What are you looking forward to most? I'm um, just seeing the community down here. You know, I think um, whenever you get to come to a celebration like this, the, the energy is really high and everybody's yeah. kind of feeling unified. And I think that's going to be a really nice family feel. For a, the show. a family feel and yeah. a, a glamly feel. A glamly feel. A glamly feel. feel. You, you guys know the glamly, the whole, the whole lexicon yes. there. Yeah. It's fabulous. They're really, really excited about your third album. There's a couple of questions related to that. Well, I don't think I can answer anything. All I can say is I'm working on stuff, and that's it. I have to be very ambiguous. Why? Because it, the, it, the cat's not out of the bag. When will it be out of the bag? Well, it's not going to be out today. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Any idea what to expect? No idea. No idea when I'm going to be able to talk about it. I, I haven't even recorded it yet, so once that gets done, I okay. I'll probably start talking. Okay, so you're, you've, you've written I'm for lost. it. Yeah. No, I haven't. I haven't even started. You've been listening to things. You know, listening to things, <laughs> talking to people, and that's it. So, okay. something. Something on the horizon. So I don't we're, know when. Okay. So all the, all the Twitter fans out there, we're not sure when to expect. We don't know what kind of sound we're going for. What sound are you into these days? What sound? I, I love all the stuff that I'm listening to on the radio. I love that the radio yeah. has become something that was, about two years ago was very dance, electronic dance sure. oriented. Sure, sure. Uh, and it still is a bit, but I think it's so exciting because things are getting organic again. And yeah. We're getting back to emotional songwriting. Right. And, um, it's really nice to see the mix of styles yeah. on the charts. I think we're getting back to songwriting again. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah. So you're looking forward to that? Uh, stop trying to bait me. <laughs> So we might expect. Don't put any words in my mouth. I'm I not saying nothing about no album. <laughs> Flip the page, Kyle. He said, "Flip the He's page." This one. I like Flip it. the page. Um, could you describe your career in only three words? My career in three words: uh, surreal, um, exciting. Um, God, I think I've got to think of a better third word, right? Um, Glam. Glam. Yeah, sure. Why not? Glam. <laughs> Let's talk about Pride a little bit. Yeah, let's talk about Pride. Now, um, this is your first, correct me if I'm wrong, first kind of outing, well, no pun intended. Uh, outing. <laughs> your first Pride um, performance, right? Yeah, officially, yeah, I think it is. Why? So, Why now? Why not? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, getting more connected with the community over the last couple of years, um, this year in particular, when this album came out, Trespassing, yes. I really wanted to connect with the gay community because I feel like there are so many themes on the album that are directly related to being different, to being a part of a, of a community that are working their way through some challenges and some tolerance issues, but doing it with a big smile on our face uh, yeah. and a boa around our neck. Right. Okay. Um, you know, it's it, it, there's a lot of themes on Trespassing that are about that. I wrote it from the point of view of being out, like everybody else, being out in a club at night, being out with my friends, uh, being a part of this community. Yeah. So um, more than ever, I just feel like I want to connect. Yeah. yeah. Connect in a new, you know, maybe a new way. In a new, very, that's cool. So you've got two more on the books? Two more prides? Two more prides, yeah. Pittsburgh Pride. Pittsburgh. Um, wait, what's the other one? San Diego, maybe? That's not Pride. That's um, San Diego, the, the Del Mar Fair. Ah, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> maybe more of a family event. Okay, good. <laughs> a family glam leave. Yeah, <laughs> Let me check in with my friends here. Any questions, guys? Can no. we see your beautiful eyes? <laughs> <laughs> These beautiful eyes are up until the wee hours of the morning. So, uh, I got my beautiful shades on. Hope you like them. They're new. I woke up to be your mother, and I knew that those glasses were hiding more. It's a day. It's you know, it's a daytime look. You know, come on, we're on the beach. Yes, you know? working on the camera. Yeah, good job. Come to the show tomorrow night. The eyes will be out in full. Right. I promise. Right. I'll have to zoom in. <laughs> so where'd you go last night? I heard, I heard some rumors. rumors. Oh, we, we couldn't say that we were committed to being silent about it. Where really? you were, yeah. Oh, we knew, yeah. we knew. I think it was at Mova, yes, which were. was very cool. Yes. And Twist. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. How'd you like Mova? The, you see the block party there? Yeah, it was so good. They shut it down. Yeah, everybody, I was out on the street taking pictures with people. Oh, it was nice. really fun. Yeah. 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 What time did you go to bed? I done <laughs> this morning at some point. I, I think the sun was starting to peek through the clouds. Okay, so you, yeah. I mean, you're in Miami Beach. You got to do yeah. what you got to do, right? You no, know, I mean, I figure why not do it right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Questions, guys? Are you going to work with another person like Pink? I mean, I would, like if I would Madonna be, gave you a song yeah. tomorrow, you'd be like, give I'd be honored right? to work with someone like Pink again. She's amazing. I, I've looked up to her for years. You know, she's an artist that really 
runs to like her her own lane. You know what yeah. I mean? She's her own artist. She doesn't make any apologies. She's always been who she is, and I'm inspired by that. Let's sure. say the real thing. She doesn't take bullshit from anybody. Just say, like, yeah, hey, you're yeah. about to like, kiss whoever you want on stage. She's real. Do whatever the f you want to do, and that's <laughs> what you want, right? And that's yeah, yeah. how she is. Love <laughs> yeah. that. Thank you so much Thank for being you. part of my project. Thank you for your question. Any more covers? I love singing covers. Yeah, I mean, I, I was great. doing. Um, I was on tour over the past couple months, and definitely was really excited to incorporate some other songs that weren't mine into the set. And we had a great time. Um, did a wonderful. cover of Shout by Tears for Fears that we had a really good time with, and Stay by Rihanna. Stay. Yeah. I, you know, if, if it's a good song, I want to try to sing it. Yes. You know, if I connect with it and I can help people connect with it, that's the, that's the idea. Yeah. It is a really, really important time, agreed. Um, I think we're definitely in the midst of our own civil rights movement in a way. Um, obviously, we're dealing with equality issues and, and tolerance and, and just being unapologetic and being who we are I love that there's this movement going on right now and you can feel the excitement um, just at events like this like pride you know going out last night you can feel it in the air people are really excited that our community our, our, our voices are being heard it's become mainstream which is huge for us um, and yeah it's amazing to be a part of this movement really amazing and you know I have to say um, traveling internationally makes you really thankful for certain freedoms that we have here in our country. Um, I, I was in Russia uh, a couple months back and St. Petersburg, as you probably know, has a lot of issues with uh, the, the gay and lesbian community being a little bit oppressed, um, being a little frightened to be out, to be open, um, not being able to demonstrate any sort of pride. Uh, and coming here, it, it, it reminds you how lucky we are. We have so many freedoms. So. Yeah. What is the legacy? The legacy couples, um, it's a group of people, they've been together for 20 years, uh -huh. and then they have a special kind of uh, place for them in the parade. Oh, nice. So you'll see that. Oh, that's and that's a wonderful way. I've been speaking to the legacy couples over the week. Oh, that's and it's amazing to see. They're so, and they can come to tears so easily because they've been together sometimes 45, 50 years. And then for them to be celebrated by not only the LGBT... Q. 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 Okay. <laughs> Q. Q now community, but also the allies as well. It's yeah. just amazing, yeah. the level of support sure. for everyone. What does that mean to you as an artist, to be able to kind of be in this space where things are changing and, and people's perceptions are changing? Um, I mean, I think what's really nice is as we kind of progress forward, it's becoming less of, this is how we're different. And I yeah. think it's more of, hey, look, we're the same. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, I think that that's why we have allies like we have now. It's becoming a lot more diverse, or, you know, mixing it up. So I think, um, as an artist, it gives me more freedom what to write about. Um, you know, if I'm writing about love, I think it'll allow more people now to understand what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's the same kind of love. Yeah. It's just with a different person. Love is love. You know, when we write these songs about love, they're universal, you know? Do you, as a person, not only as an artist, do you ever feel like you have to hold anything back still? I think some of us could relate to that. Well, so I have a tendency of not biting my tongue. Uh, <laughs> Um, I'm kind of an open book, you know, sometimes for PC purposes you have to kind of clean it up a little bit here yeah. and there, you know, uh, out of respect. Sure. So I've learned that lesson the hard way a few times, but you live and you learn. Yeah. <laughs> but even with your look and stuff, do you ever have to tell yourself, or does someone tell you, man, maybe you want to tone it down a little bit? Me? No. Okay. No, I hate toning it down. So you're just Not there. in the look department, yeah. Would you encourage other people to be the same? Well, I just, I like expressing myself, you know, and, and for me, like the way I put myself together and the way I dress and kind of crazy, eccentric you know, fashion choices. It's just me having a good time. Absolutely. Yeah. What's your favorite clothing item right now in your closet? My favorite clothing item? Um, these new sunglasses. Yeah. Yeah. Those are sweet. <laughs> you can see yourself. Can we? I can. I'm getting distracted. Hair, you know? I probably need to a little no, bit. No, that's great. Um, yeah. That's nice. Where did you get pick those up? Uh, I, don't, I got them like the day before yesterday in LA and I just liked them. Are you, you're having a gold moment right now? I'm having a gold moment. A breaking gold. news Twitter. We're yeah, having a gold yeah, moment. It's a gold moment. Gold is back. That's good. That's good. Left, it's, That's good. Do you feel pressure to be tan in Miami Beach? Because we all do. Honey, I got spray tan. Before I, came here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm going to the beach. I gotta look, you know. Yeah. Gotta keep up with these beach people. Yeah. It's true. It's really hard to do. Yeah, I'm not really a beach person. Me either. Um, yeah, I see your freckles. I've got freckles. It doesn't yeah, really work yeah. for us. But I'm dressed as I'm in beach person costume now today. So I hope you approve. You are Reese's peanut butter cups still the jam? Yeah, I mean, don't you like Reese's peanut butter cups? Sure. Peanut butter and chocolate are great. Yeah. I'm trying to cut back on my chocolate intake though, so don't put any ideas in my head, okay? Okay, okay. I got you. <laughs> um, but, but a nice little segue from that, 
peanut butter. Who is the peanut butter to your chocolate these days? Who is the peanut butter to my chocolate? Um, Anything um, thing you want to reveal? My sunglasses again? I don't know. I, um, <laughs> <laughs> my glasses. I, I don't. I don't have any official peanut butter to my chocolate. If that's what you're asking. That's what I'm asking. I'm a single man right now. <laughs> single in my. Life. <laughs> so I'm just the chocolate, or just the peanut butter. I don't know, depending on how you want to see it. We won't go there. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Um, yeah, we didn't end up touring for this last album, Trespassing, here in the States. Um, focused on some international touring. I'm gonna go back to the drawing board now and get into the studio and keep making music. And hopefully it'll reach even more people this next time. And gotta keep making things and keep creating. And then once it feels right, then a tour will come. Right? Yeah. Speaking of performances, um, we mentioned the Prides, uh, or the, the next Pride. Um, love. Yes, Thunder. Yes. Ooh. The gods are happy, <laughs> or not. Um, and uh, from Twitter, will we see you um, on any American Idol performances? Any performances from American Idol? Well, I don't really have anything to promote at this very second, so I don't know if I'm gonna, I might miss the uh, this season, but hopefully next season when I have something to show people. What do you think about the show these days? Have you watched? I, you know, I've been traveling so much, I didn't get to really, I've seen like little bits here and there online, but I haven't really sat down and really watched. Um, I kind of know who the contestants are. Uh -huh. Uh, excited that the girls that are still left are, is it three or two left? Yeah, no. <laughs> See, I haven't really watched All girls are left. Yeah, we still watch Island. Talented, talented singers this year. Really talented. What do you think about the judges? I love the judges. Very entertaining. Okay. Yeah, super entertaining. Would you want them to be, to have been your judges? No, I, I wouldn't have any regrets on my season. I really liked the way it played out. I mean, Paul Abdul was like a childhood hero of mine, and, and I thought Simon was amazing, and Randy and Kara were awesome. I, I wouldn't change it. Right. Yeah. All right, we do need to kind of wrap it up, guys. Um, any burning desire questions out there? Speak now, forever hold your peace. Yes, sir. I, I have a question about the key to the city that you're going to be receiving. I have a lot of questions about the key, too. <laughs> <laughs> For instance, what is it open? Well, this, this is my house. Sorry. The key to the city originates from medieval England, and it means that you have permission to leave cattle Wow. <laughs> Do you plan on doing that in Miami Beach? That, this is a trick question. No, this is true. <laughs> cattle, I, that is what it was originally I might end up leading some cattle through the high streets, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it could, it, I think it happened last night. We'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> it did, it twist. You need to tell us what happened to it. Oh. What kind of cattle was about? I don't know where I'm going to put it. I don't know. I think I have to give it back. Can you wear it? I think I get to like hang on to it for an afternoon and then it's like, here you go, dust this off, give it to the next guy. Guys, let's give Adam a hand. Thank you so much. Uh -oh. Can you do it? All right. Thank you, sir. Can you look this way, Adam? Can I get a picture of you? Yeah, sure. Adam, smile. Smile.